One of the top things that separates high performers from those who never really achieve their goals is that high performers, successful people are able to manage priorities better than most people. They don't manage time, they manage priorities. And in this video, I wanna share some strategies with you on how you can more effectively manage your priorities to achieve more. All right, how many times have we heard this or have we even said this? I'm guilty myself, absolutely. Man, there's never enough time in a day. There's never enough hours. I can't seem to get everything done, right? I just need a, an extra day in the week. I wish this week had eight days. Well, guess what? The reality is that's never going to be the case. There are seven days in a week. There are 168 hours in every week, 24 hours in one day, and that's it. That's what we've got. That's what I've got. That's what you've got. That's what high performers like Warren Buffett, Elon Musk, Richard Branson, that's what everyone has, 24 hours in one day. So how is it that some people are able to accomplish so much more than most people? The answer is priority management. Now I say priority management because we do not manage time. We have 24 hours in a day. We don't create more. We don't uh, have less than anyone else. There is There are 24 hours. So what it comes down to is how do we take those 24 hours and decide what needs to get done and what doesn't need to get done? How do we prioritize the important things over the urgent things? How do we make sure that we're continuing to move forward to accomplish our goals? Now, you probably uh, experienced days like this that I, I experienced sometimes as well. We are busy the entire day from sun up to sundown, from the time we wake up until the time we go to bed. And some of those days you get in bed like, man, I'm exhausted, like what a jam packed day. And then you kind of reflect on the day and you're like, what did I really do today? I feel like I was busy the whole day, you know, moving around, answering text messages and phone calls and emails and, and on social media and doing all a million different things. But I feel like I didn't really accomplish anything. I feel like I didn't like really move anything forward. I feel like maybe I'm not uh, even closer to my goals than I was uh, this time yesterday, right? And and that happens, unfortunately. And that's, a, that's a, a symptom that we are not managing our calendars. We are not managing our priorities. We're spending all day uh, putting out fires, responding to other people's priorities, getting things done, kind of staying busy as a bee, but we're not really accomplishing anything meaningful. Now, I'm a bit of a junkie when it comes to personal development and professional development and, and really trying to optimize every part of my life, whether it's health and fitness, whether it's uh, business, whether it's getting proper sleep, whether it's using my time as effectively as I can. I'm always reading, I'm always learning about what other people are doing, I'm always trying different things and testing different things out with my own schedule, with my own life and business and whatnot. So I wanna share some strategies that have worked for me, right? These aren't things that are uh, you know, scientifically proven, these aren't things that are gonna work necessarily for everyone else. What I've done in my life is I've taken things from here and, and here and uh, different resources and I've kind of made my own thing that works for me. So number one is to plan out my week ahead. So every Sunday, I set aside, whether it's 30 minutes, 60 minutes, ideally it's a full hour, to kind of reflect on the previous week and more importantly, plan the upcoming week. This is imperative. I cannot go to bed on a Sunday night if I don't have the week planned out because I know that I'll wake up Monday morning and I'll feel kind of lost and I won't be able to attack the week the way that I want to. So on Sundays, I spend 30 to 60 minutes, I'll review the previous week and I will plan out my top priorities for the week ahead. Uh, I'll look at our, our priorities for the quarter as, as a company, as a business. I'll break down what do I need to do this week? What are my top three or four things that I need to get done this week? The big projects, the big important things that I need to dedicate time to uh, in order to actually win the week. And I'm focused on on winning the week, I'm focused on winning every day. Uh, I'll get to the daily thing in a minute, but planning out the week is crucial. I'll plan out all of my uh, appointments that I have. I'll plan out all the workouts that I'm doing. I will even plan out the buffer times, the 30 or 60 minute breaks that I'm taking. If I'm going for a walk uh, in the neighborhood, if I am uh, you know, having a, a lunch date with my wife or something like that, like every single thing goes in the calendar. And I also put in buffers. I'll put in a 30 minute buffer here, a 60 minute buffer there in the calendar, 
because invariably, you know, things take longer than we expect. So we need, we can't schedule appointments back to back to back to back. I've tried that. It doesn't work. It creates a lot of chaos and a lot of stress. We've got to have some buffers in there. So I literally put everything in my Google calendar. I make sure that those priorities are listed out, color coded uh, based on uh, different categories of activities that I have going on. I'll check out the kids sports schedules. I'll check out anything else we have going on as a family, make sure that I have enough time uh, dedicated for all those things, those big things that I need to get done. So that's Sunday, planning the entire week ahead. Yes, of course, uh, things are subject to change, but I have a plan that I'm going into the week with and I feel confident that I'm gonna get the important work done. Because if we don't focus on the important, then we're always gonna be tending to the urgent and putting out other people's fires and other people's priorities uh, doesn't doesn't move uh, our business forward, right? So that's number one is the Sunday planning session. Number two is at the end of every workday, I plan the next day. So I have the weekly plan that I made on a Sunday uh, and then every night or every day after when I'm done with work for the day, I will look at tomorrow's schedule and I'll say, all right, how does this look? Am I gonna stick to this? Or are there things that I absolutely need to, to move around a little bit? Did, did something come up? Is a project taking a little bit longer than I expected? Maybe I need to block off another hour for that tomorrow. I'll just kind of make adjustments uh, for the previous day. And that's necessary because it's, that's life, right? We, it's not realistic to think that we can make a, a schedule on a Sunday and just stick to it uh, by the book, you know, the whole week. Things are gonna come up, so we need to be able to make adjustments. And, uh, you know, that's that's part of being kind of a high performer and achieving great things is that you've gotta be able to think on the fly, like what are the most valuable uses of my time for tomorrow? So again, every uh, at the end of every workday, every night before bed, whatever it is, plan out the next day. Because when you wake up, you're gonna know what you're doing, you're gonna feel more confident, and you're going to be able to, uh, to win that day. Number three, and this might sound crazy to a lot of people, and some of my friends and, and maybe colleagues think I'm crazy, but you gotta set boundaries, right? You gotta set boundaries where you're not available via this device, right? People can't reach you. You've gotta set those boundaries where you're turning off your notifications, you're you know, shutting down social media, you are go, uh, putting your phone on airplane mode, you're putting your phone in an entirely different room or locking your phone in your car, whatever it is uh, that enables you to get that focused work done and you've got to create those boundaries. Otherwise, distractions will just completely eat up your entire day. Uh, we've all been there, right? Distractions are, they're easy to find anywhere. Email, text message, social media, phone calls, uh, you know, anything else we have going on. Distractions can ruin our day if we allow that to happen to us. So don't be a victim of distractions. So here's what I do. I, I do these things called focus 90. I'll either do focus 90 or focus 50. And what that means is I will turn off all notifications, which I normally have off anyway. I will set a timer on my phone for either 50 minutes or 90 minutes, depending on how much time I need to get a certain thing done. I will put my phone on airplane mode. I will put it in a drawer in another room or just put it in a drawer and bury it where I'm not gonna be tempted to get to it. I wanna remove that temptation, right? And I will get to work for those 50 to 90 minutes. Uh, yes, I'll be tempted to go, you know, check the weather or check like the kids' sports schedule or, oh, hey, I just saw this thing I need to order on Amazon or, oh, you know, let me just check Facebook real quick to see if I got any responses on my post or something like that. There's all these temptations, but we've got to hold ourselves accountable to sticking to that schedule. Our businesses depend on it. Our families depend on us. Our team depends on us to be focused. So it's not, it's not, it's no longer just about me being able to focus. There's other people that depend on my ability to focus and, and I owe that to them. I owe that, owe that to myself. So that's how seriously I take that. I will literally put the phone in another room and not be distracted for 50 minutes or 90 minutes or whatever it is. Now, I might only do two of those blocks a day, two of those focus 90 or focus 50 blocks a day. But in those, uh, in, in those time periods, I'm getting so much focused work done that even if I just did those two hours, uh, th those two focus blocks every day, then I will have won the day. I will have gotten more done than, uh, than my, my old self who didn't do those things and just kind of, you know, try to multitask in a bunch of different things. So that's what works for me. It might seem a little extreme and you might be making an excuse right now. You might be saying, oh, I can't do that. My business is different. You don't understand. You know, there's, there, I got people calling me. I got uh, my team calling me and, and contacting me for questions and whatnot. 
I challenge you on that because you're no different than anyone else. I'm no different. I'm not an exception. This stuff works. All you got to do is notify your team. If you really feel it's that important, say, hey, team, uh, I'm going offline. For the, I'm going dark for the next 90 minutes or at 9 a.m. I'm going dark for 90 minutes. If you need anything before, before that, let me know. Otherwise, it's going to have to wait. Okay. And you just got to train people that depend on asking you questions that they're not going to be able to reach you. I do this with my team all the time. I'll say, Hey, I'm, I'm going dark for the next 90 minutes, or, uh, you won't hear from me till afternoon. And, and we've had, uh, some team members also adopt this and do the same thing. Hey, Joe, I'm not going to be available for the next 90 minutes. Awesome. Good. Go focus on whatever you got to focus on. I won't bother you. Right. And if I do think of something that I want to ping you on, I'll ping you, but I don't expect a, a response for, you know, some period of time. So those are my strategies. What's worked for me, what continues to work for me in order to manage priorities, in order to get things done. We've got a small team here at Contractor Dynamics. I've got a busy life just like everyone else. We've got two kids. They're on five sports teams right now, running a business, traveling, uh, working out every day, uh, eating well you know, managing all these different things. So you might be thinking you can't get things done because there's not enough time in a day, but there is, right? Just look at look at anyone else who is kind of where you want to be or who might be, you might think is accomplishing more than you or more successful than you. They have 24 hours in a day. They figured out a way to manage their priorities. They figured out a way to uh, figure out what they're doing on a daily basis so that they can hire an assistant or hire a team member or delegate things or outsource things or eliminate things or spend less time on social media, all right? Our businesses depend on it. Again, our families depend on it. Our teams depend on our ability to focus. Distraction, lack of focus is probably the number one thing holding most people back, holding most businesses back. So that's why I felt it was so important to record this video and share this with you. And I hope this helps. I really hope this helps. And I'd love to hear what tips and strategies work for you. So drop a comment, send me a message, send me a DM, let me know what's working for you. Or if you've got questions on how to implement this stuff, I geek out over this stuff. So I uh, love to you know share ideas and help one another level up. Hope this has been valuable to you and I'll talk to you soon.